because it's true. No justice, no peace. If you know justice, you know peace. Please choose justice, and we will choose peace. If you don't choose justice, don't ask us for peace. It's unfair. It's immoral. We want justice, and we want it now. Hi, uh, my name is Gina Yi, and I play Peep in The Winstons. Hi, my name is Louisa, and I'm the director of The Winstons. Hi, my name is Peyton Ashbrook. I'll be producing The Winstons as well as playing the role of Cherisy. I got involved with this story by being a member of the Hangar Theatre Company last summer where I met Andrea and Louisa. And I think Andrea was brought in really last minute. She said on the phone that rather than bringing in a play of her own that um, might not fit the actresses, she wanted to write something new and I think she had a week and a half. She came up with this amazing piece of political theatre uh, which really is fresh and new, something that we don't really get to see, stories that aren't really being told. The first rehearsal was basically a big political discussion about Occupy and um, the state of our democracy and surveillance. And, uh, and then, you know, fast forward to the reading, the public reading a week later, that ended in a huge discussion about democracy. Um, so I think what was exciting from the beginning was that this felt like a piece of work that really wanted to reach beyond itself. I love this play because it's about a group of women who are passionate about something. And it's not a man. No one's fighting over a man. And they're smart and they have agency. But at the same time, it's also still flawed. Actually, the story has nothing to do with their gender. It just has to do with these five people who happen to be female um, going about getting what they want. And the thing that makes it feminist to me is that it's simply a story about people and that their gender doesn't have anything to do with the plot line of the story. Her characters are extremely muscular and direct, and I think it's, it's rare that you see five women in a room together that are so forward with each other. It's about them reacting to the society around them and things get incredibly heated. All kinds of rivalries, insecurities, racial issues are, are played out in that hour where you see them prepare for the big night. And I think Andrea has that uh, energy of, of really making people think about the current state of things. And uh, it was beautiful to see how the actresses uh, re reacted to her presence. My favorite line in the play is, um, I still have the disease. I think Cherisy uh, talks about it. this disease of, of wanting, like, be rolling in a bunch of money and riding your Benz and having a black card and things that we don't really need as human beings. Of course it was about the craft of the piece, but it was also trying to energize a, or tap into a discussion uh, that was way bigger than you know the, that, that group of people or the theater or the, that reached all the way out into our society. What they're doing is kind of dangerous and, uh, and it was unnerving to some male audience members that women were doing this in particular in a way that they didn't even realize that they, they didn't even think that it would bother them. Um, so I thought that was a really interesting reaction and it, it kind of ignited a spark in me, um, even more so than just the excitement of this being a great play, but also what this play has potential to do. I figured Juilliard would be a great venue for this, um, and you, I would love to use my resources there, so I approached the drama division, I applied for the student-initiated project, um, which a select amount of students are able to do a year, and I was accepted. So now it's down to the wire. Um, we're about to start rehearsals August 25th. Our production, we have two performances on Sunday, um, September 14th, and, uh, and we just now need the funds. We need any help we can get from people who, who believe in what we're trying to do. Donate whatever you can. Any dollar amount helps. Um, and spread the word if you can't donate or even if you can. Just please, please tell your friends, tell your families, tell your coworkers, tell everybody you can. Social media is your friend. Spread the word. And I'll just end this with some words that I thought were very appropriate um, to a Juli from a Juilliard alum the late Robin Williams. Um, he said, no matter what people tell you, words and ideas can change the world. And uh, 
I have to agree with that. So let's change the world. We are the Winstons. You put the world in my pocket. You put time in my hands. You gave me something better than any work of friend. Explanations are saying.